Hey guys, it's Mo, and in today's Canva tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you how I customize the pre-made templates to fit in with my blog aesthetic. So, if you pay for the subscription to Canva, you will get access to uploading your own fonts, uploading your own logos, and uploading your, or assigning your branded colors. This is great because then you can have your style guide right at your fingertips to drag and drop things into your template. I'm gonna show you how to customize it, how I magically re size it to be the size that I want and how I add my own text, fonts, colors, things like that to create a customized template with just a few clicks. So when you log in to Canva, this is what you're going to see. It's your dashboard. It's got all your designs and whatnot on it. While you can use this little quick create toolbar up here to make your designs, most of the time, if I'm going to make a blog graphic, I'm gonna customize a template. So I'll go over here to the sidebar and I will find a template to use. There are 50,000 templates. You can search something, you can type in a keyword here. Oftentimes I will go either to infographics or I will go to media kits. Um, sometimes I'll go to newsletters, presentations. It just depends on if I am feeling feisty where I'm going to go. So let's say we go to infographics. Um, this is really great because you have a um, an infographic really already created for you. You can just sub in different things. Sometimes, most of the time, I will go ahead and crop this guy or magically resize it um, using their resize feature because maybe I don't have as many light items or maybe I want to make this fit better, which um, it would fit better if it was a little bit smaller on my blog or on an Instagram story or something like that. So media kits is also one that you can go to and it's going to fit a little, they're a little bit more squat. So they're going to fit a little bit better on your blog and you can just customize them to um, your branded text and your, maybe your logo, your fonts, your colors, things like that. So I want to show you, this is a graphic from the marketplace and I used it to create this blog graphic. You can see I subbed out the, um, icons here. I also made it a little bit smaller and I added a footer to include my website. Um, and it's got my branded colors, my branded text, um, and it just fits in with the overall look and feel and theme of my blog. Another one is this little, I think this was from the um, press kit, from the market or media kit um, section of the marketplace there. And I used this one to create this guy. So I added another footer with my um, text for my blog name. I added my branded colors, switched out the images, added some branded text, um, and just overall made it look like my own. So this is a great way to get your um, graphics done really easily and make them fit in with your website or your overall brand or overall theme. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this one and I'm going to show you how to customize this um, for your own branding. So we would just click use this template and it's going to load up for us. And since we've already uploaded our branding, our branded colors, our, our uh, branded fonts, our logos, things like that, you can only do that with the paid version of Canva. So with a yearly or monthly subscription, I totally think that you should pay for it. I will leave a link down below or up in the corner here for a uh, video going over the basics and the rundown of Canva and why I pay for Canva personally. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this yellow here. I'm going to change this background really quickly to be pink. I'm going to click on this yellow guy here and I'm going to change all these yellow guys in the center to be green. So you can see this little eye icon pops up. You just hit the check mark. Yes. Um, I'm going to change this font for this guy. We're going to, oops, I didn't mean copy. I meant ungroup. So let's trash this delete group. Click on this guy again, ungroup. I'm going to change this color to my branded dark color. I'm going to change this font to Babis new. Um, I'm going to delete this icon. And I'm going to put something like, let's go to elements, illustrations, and let's see if we can search like a pencil, illustrations. Um, we can throw in like this guy or this guy. Let's do this guy. We're going to change him to be our dark color. The yellow I'm going to change to be pink so it fits in with the background. 
I'm going to resize it. We'll make this a little bit smaller here. You can line it up. You can see these little guides and grids come up to line things up for you. And you can use your arrow keys. I'm going to, is this spacing changed? Yes. Change this back to, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Isn't it supposed to be one? Okay. Change this to what to journal about every, maybe that's our blog post title. So line this guy up, make this a little bit smaller, hold down the shift key. We're going to center our title. We can change this. I'm going to nudge this up a little bit, I think. Um, change this to be, we can see how that orange will look, and we can select change all again if you wanted to. This is going to change here, so we can push this back to our black color, or I guess our dark color if you wanted to. Um, we could change this to be our Babis new again. Change this to be Lado, which is our thing. And then we could write gratitude, gratitude. Um, and we would just do the same thing for each of these. So we can change this back to Babis. Select all of this, change this to Lato. We can write what our next journal thing is. Make a list, maybe. Change this color. And you would just keep on doing that. I didn't change these. You would just keep on doing that. You could then take this and change it maybe to one of your branded fonts. We're going to make it not caps locked. And I'm going to change this down to like 28 and write for more journal. I swear to God, I can't type prompts. Visit. And then we can change this. Uh, oh, it's already Lado, uppercase. I'm going to change the spacing like this. I'm going to make it bold because why not? We can make it a little bit smaller. Like that. And then you have something that is a little simple graphic. Obviously, you can add a little bit more to it. You can do a little bit more pizzazz, whatever you want to do. But this is just a basic way to change over, you know, a graphic to fit in with your style. If this was me, I would probably make this a little bit bigger and make like this. Maybe I would um, space these out a little bit more. I might add in a photo. I might do something different. But you have it. It's in your branded fonts, in your branded colors, um, and it's going to fit in and look really great on your website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around, and you can find more Boost Your Blog type articles and tips over on my blog. It's 516thsblog.com. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's at 516ths, and follow me on Facebook where you can see little quick videos on how to create cool things for your blog the things that I'm into, uh, get some inspiration. And that is facebook.com slash 516. So I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.